I'm Tim Tyler, and this is a video about memetics, which is my forthcoming 2011 book on the subject of cultural evolution. So I'm making this video because the first copies of the book have come off the printing presses, although it's only a prototype at the moment, so you can't actually buy it in the shops. Um, so here's um, what I've been sent. Um, these are digest small size books, so they're smaller than an average size paperback. Um, and to show you the back cover, it looks something like that. Um, and I've made these two copies, and then I've also made this, which is a significantly larger version of the book, um, with a larger font size and a much bigger cover, so just to compare in size. This one's probably too small, and this one's probably too big, but these are the prototypes that I've made so far. Um, the cover features a whole bunch of light bulbs, which are designed to symbolically represent ideas surrounding the head of a little baby. And the baby's head is a little bit like an egg, and the light bulbs all around the outside are a little bit like sperm. You can see they've got long tails. Um, and so the idea is, is that the, um, the sperm are competing to fertilize the egg in a similar way to which ideas um, compete with each other to get into human brains. So um, that's the front cover of the book. Back cover can really look something like that. And um, the one of the main things I've debated with myself about the cover of the book is whether or not to use a happy baby or a sad baby. You can see at the moment that I've gone with the tearful baby. Um, I've also experimented with a neutral baby and hopefully in the future I'm going to consider a happy baby. Um, it's a bit of a difficult issue and I'd quite like to do some market research on the issue but I only have a relatively small budget for that kind of thing. So um, I'm a bit concerned with the unhappy baby that he's going to put people off and I haven't got any philosophical axe to grind about whether or not the, um, the baby should be sad because his brain is being invaded by the negative memes or happy because he's being fertilised by the positive memes. So um, I think I'm probably going to go with the happy baby because of concerns about this one um, being um, putting people off basically having a negative effect on the, um, the readers of the book or the people who are just looking at its front cover. So, um, but anyway, that's what I've got on the prototypes at the moment and then I'll read you some of the blurb from the back cover. Let's just see how to best to arrange this, yeah. So, um, Memetics is the name commonly given to the study of memes, a term originally coined by Richard Dawkins to describe small inherited elements of human culture. Memes are the cultural equivalent of DNA genes, and memetics is the cultural equivalent of genetics. Memes have become ubiquitous in the modern world, but there's been relatively little proper scientific study of how they arise, spread, and change, apparently due to turf wars within the social sciences and misguided resistance to Darwinian explanations being applied to human behaviour. However, with the modern explosion of internet memes, it seems this is, the, this is bound to change. With memes penetrating into every mass media channel and with major companies riding on their coattails for marketing purposes, social scientists will surely not be able to keep the subject at arm's length for much longer. This will be good because an understanding of memes is important. Memes are important for marketing and advertising. They're important for defending against marketing and advertising. They're important for understanding and managing your own mind. And they're important for understanding science, politics, religion, causes, propaganda and popular culture. Memetics is important for understanding the origin and evolution of modern humans. It provides insight into the rise of farming, science, industry, technology and machines, and it's important for understanding the future of technological change and human evolution. This book covers the basic concepts of memetics, giving an overview of its history, applications, development and the controversy that has been associated with it. So, not available yet, but um, hopefully coming out fairly soon. Um, enjoy!